Horse diving was a horrible thing. That's exactly what it sounds like. The concept was invented by Doc Carver, an entertainer and dentist from the late 1800s who knew a thing or two about pain. After a bridge collapsed in Nebraska, tossing he and his horse into a river during a live show, he figured there might be a wider public appetite for forcing horses to leap into a giant body of water on purpose. Horse diving went on to become a fixture of Atlantic City, with horse diver Sonora Carver becoming a nationwide sensation. And even after she went blind from hitting the water with her eyes open in 1931, she continued to delight audiences by making majestic creatures suffer bone fractures, internal organ damage, and other injuries against their will until she retired in 1942 to become a Disney film 50 years later. Shockingly, Atlantic City horse diving continued up to six times a day until animal rights activists got it shut down in the 1970s. It tried to make a comeback in 1993 and as recently as 2012, but as the old saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but it doesn't want to die.